This is the UK variant of an EcoFlow smart plug. And I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes or so talking about this because this is an amazing product and also kind of a rubbish product at the same time. Why would you want to buy one of these? There are loads of smart plugs you can buy out there. And most importantly, and this is probably one of the most important bad points, is that this retails at £34. Yes, you heard me right. £34 for a smart plug. I could buy seven of these, or seven of another variant of smart plug that basically does the same as this and more, except for one thing. And it is this where EcoFlow have absolutely got you sucked in. You have no choice. You can only buy their smart plug. And that is that this talks to the PowerStream device. Now, if you don't know what the PowerStream device is, there are plenty of videos out there on that now. And I'll briefly describe it as a device that allows you to take power from solar take power from batteries and feed it back into your mains in your house. Yes, you can back feed your mains using the PowerStream device. We're not talking about a professionally fitted solar installation now. We are talking about plugging something in the wall and back feeding power from batteries or solar to feed the rest of the house with power. Superb invention, superb way of doing it. Works really, really well. However, there's no way that the power stream can detect the load on your mains. You have to say, I want to use this much power, and you have to put in a base load amount. So you might say, well, I know my house generally uses 80 watts. But what happens when it uses a bit more than that? What happens when you have devices that maybe just suddenly draw more power or draw some power versus none, like a fridge? Well, that's where these come in, because these talk to the power stream and say, the device that's plugged into here is now asking for this much power. Increase the amount of power you, you send me from solar and backfeed into the house and uh, do it by the amount that this plug demands. And you can have, well, I've currently got seven of these fitted to uh, various devices throughout the house. So let's say, for example, I have one upstairs that my partner uses for all her work equipment. So she has her laptop plugged into it. She has her uh, the light that she uses on video calls plugged into it. She has her headset charger plugged into it. That is constantly changing. The, the, the amount of power that that needs is constantly changing. It can range from zero, obviously, when she's not working, to probably about 15 watts minimum. But if she's on a call and she's got a light on, it can go up to about 45, 50 watts. And it constantly varies depending on the processor usage of the laptop. That's plugged into one of these, which means that none of the power for her work comes from the grid. It all comes from solar, but it adapts how much power it takes based on this smart plug. So there we go. That is the reason and the sole main reason why you would want to buy one of these, because for pretty much every other reason, you probably wouldn't want to buy one of these. As I say, £34. Who wants to spend that much on a smart plug? If you've got the power stream, you've got to, and it's worth it. But in every other way, come on, EcoFlow, there is more you can do with this to make this just a better product. Let's take some examples. You can't share this device. I can share other EcoFlow products, but I don't want to. I have no desire to share my Delta Max power station with my family or anything like that. It's just not a product I really want to share. A smart plug, on the other hand, absolutely is. Going back to that example of my partner's work stuff, she wants to have access to this plug to be able to turn it on and off if she needs to. Of course, she can go to the socket on the wall and do it. That's not the point. I'm just talking about actually having this in an app. What about the lights in the living room? We've got the, want a light in the living room that we use in the evening attached to one of these. She wants to be able to access that. Please, EcoFlow, add sharing to all your smart plugs. Secondly, please in the device list on the front of the app, so the main device list, because I know you can see this elsewhere in the app, but please, when you've got the lists of, list of devices, you've got your power stations, you've got whatever else you've got from EcoFlow, you've got all your smart plugs listed together with their titles, please put some indication on that page of whether this is on or off, because right now it just has a picture of the plug with a little green light, and there's nothing to tell you whether that device is on or off in that particular page. It would be lovely to be able to just see at a glance 
whether or not it's powered up or not. Third point, well, and this would be a wonderful addition. If you've got quite a few of these across your house, there might be a time when you say, well, I want, you know, I've got that much coming in on solar. I mean, this, this is the UK after all. It's raining out there right now. You can't see it through the window because it's quite bright out there, but it's raining outside. It's the middle of July and it's raining. So right now, instead of generating 800, one kilowatt off solar, I'm generating about 100 watts off solar. So right now I'm kind of thinking, well, I'm happy to keep feeding the mains, most of what, you know, the base load in the house, but maybe I just want to bypass one of these on the fridge because the fridge will take takes quite a lot of power. You know, it uses probably about 600 watt hours per day, 700 watt hours per day. So maybe I just want to bypass one of these. I don't want to have to physically take it out of the wall and I can't obviously turn it off because it's the fridge. <laughs> you know, it needs to be on 24 hours a day. So please add a bypass button for each individual plug to say, take this plug out of the mix. Don't factor in the power that this particular plug uses. That would be an excellent feature to add. Now this thing has Bluetooth connectivity and that's a really good thing because it makes it super simple to set up. I mean, it's an overuse of that word super these days, but it does. It makes it very, very simple to set up and you just plug it, I mean, you just plug it in, go into the EcoFlow app and it finds it straight away. However, overall, the connection to these devices in the app is as slow as all other EcoFlow products. And that's not particular, particularly quick. If I go into my, my, one of my standard sort of smart home smart plugs, I immediately get shown a list of what's on, what's off, and I can act on that immediately. I can just tap them and they, and they all respond straight away. This can sometimes take a couple of seconds. It can sometimes take 15 or 20 seconds to bring back the information about the status of the plug. That's really not great when it comes to a smart plug. And it doesn't seem to depend on how many devices. You know, some people might say, well, you've got seven of these attached. That's why it's taking so long. It doesn't make any difference. It was the same when I had one attached. It was the same when I had four attached. It's just how long EcoFlow products take to come back with their information. If I go into my Delta Max power station, it takes roughly the same amount of time to come back with the information on that too. So it'd be great if that could be improved somehow. I'm not quite sure if it could or not, but yeah, it's a little bit slow and a little bit sluggish to update. The other reason you wouldn't want to buy one of these as a smart plug is because it lacks all the functionality that you have with most smart plugs. You can't group these. You can't add multiple plugs together to make sort of two lights function at the same time or something like that. You can't add groups. You can't add anything more complex than simple scheduled on or off or a little, you, there is a delay. So you can say, turn it off after this amount of time. That's all you can do. If I go to my other plugs, the ones that are kind of four pound each, I have full scheduling based on things like whether I arrive home, um, whether I leave the home, whether it, the weather changes to this particular type, the particular temperature, I can say turn this heater on when it drops below 10 degrees outside. I can do sunset, turn on, turn off, so the times actually shift dynamically throughout the year. I can do sunset with an offset, so I can say turn this light on what half an hour after sunset, so you know it'll always turn on when it's actually getting to a point when it's needed. All this type of stuff that exists on cheap, basic smart plugs, you can't do any of that with these. Just task scheduling and a little delay. All you can do. EcoFlow could easily add just a little bit more in the way of functionality around, you know, just conditions of how these can be used and just, just stuff they can do. They're just really, really basic devices in every other way, apart from the fact they talk to the power stream. A cheap smart plug also has stats around sort of power usage and stuff, but the way the EcoFlow plugs present it is nice. You can select date ranges very easily. You've got the graph to view how much power you've used in that particular day. You've got the exact watt hours. You get all that with a standard standard plug as well. For a more advanced features, you will have to pay probably for that sort of service if you're talking about um, a four pound, five pound plug. But the stuff, it's pretty much the same as you get with the EcoFlow. It's just the presentation, I would say, in the EcoFlow app is a little bit better. These things, although they're 
little plastic things, they do take the full 3,250 watts, so the full 13 amps of current. So if you want to plug in a kettle, uh, have a kettle running through one of these, no problem at all. Of course, you can only take 800 watts from the uh, power stream, but that's fine because it will take 800 watts from the power stream and it'll put the rest, take the rest from the mains, from the grid. That's exactly what these are designed to do. So they work great and they can take all the power that you could, that you throw at them. So really, this is a smart plug designed for one thing and EcoFlow will charge you a lot of money for that convenience. For for that convenience of, of, of working as part of the ecosystem. The power stream as a device is actually really reasonably priced in sort of about three, 350 pounds. For what it does and how well it does it and how beautifully made it is, it's a really reasonably priced product. And the reason I think EcoFlow have done that is because they know that once they've got you onto the power stream, they have sucked you into their ecosystem because all this stuff has to work together. And you soon realize after using the power stream that one battery is really not enough. You know, you need two. So you're going to buy an EcoFlow one because it's part of their system and it all ties together. You realize that just being able to put a base load in is not enough. You need to be able to have that dynamic power uh, demand so that you can feed more or less into the, into the grid from the power stream based on that. So they know that you're going to be spending, in my case, over £200 on smart plugs. I'm, am, I stu am I insane? I think I am. Anyway, what do you think? Do you use these? Do you use any EcoFlow products? I, I love them overall. I find them very nicely made, generally pretty reliable. They can be a little bit buggy sometimes, but a lot of the time that gets fixed in firmware. These can, of course, be updated and have had multiple firmware updates from what I've seen so far. So please, EcoFlow, if you happen to stumble across this video, consider the things that I've mentioned. I will list them in the description so people don't even have to watch the full video. And you can just take a glance and say, hmm, that's a really good idea. We're going to implement that and get your development team on it and send it out to all the smart plugs in a firmware update. Thank you. That's all I'm asking for. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.